Today, I am going to show you how to grow louder, tastier cannabis, focusing on trichome production, and how to make sure those terps don't disappear before harvest. Come on, let's get into it, but before we do... Today's video is brought to you by Real Growers Recharge. If you want stronger, healthier plants, if you want bigger roots for better fruits, you gotta check out Real Growers Recharge. It's like an instant compost tea that holds more nutrients at your root zone, breaks those nutrients down, and makes them more plant available, getting more of your nutrients into your plants. Find out more about Recharge over at realgrowers.com. And while you're there, use coupon code SCOTTY420 to get 20% off your first order. Now let's get back to the show come on high c let's do it let's grow some frosty bud okay before we get into it yeah what are trichomes and why do i care about them <laughs> that's where the medicine is trichomes are of course the little heads that stick out the, you know little these are trichomes man right right there these are trichomes okay the little like yep. crystally orb looking things that yes i see popping out of <laughs> yes that is where your terpenes and your cannabinoids are made they're synthesized right there okay so last week we were talking about yield versus quality and i mentioned one of the problems that i've run into growing those big main colas sure I'll get those terpenes, those trichomes, all over the outside of yep. the bud. Sure. But they won't be on the inside of the bud. And that, I've noticed, decreases the quality of the cannabis. Absolutely. We're trichome farmers. I mean, you talk to anybody that makes extracts, and they'll tell you that's exactly what they're doing. They're throwing away the plant material and just farming those trichomes. All right, so last week we were talking about growing for weight. This week, we're talking about farming those trichomes. And that's where, like, the flavor and the potency, all of that comes uh, predominantly from the trichomes, right? A hundred percent. Everything else is what they make rope in and clothes out of. That's The trichomes are where all the medicine, the terpenes, and the cannabinoids are synthesized. And so since they really start showing up kind of the later part of flower, yeah. the stuff we're going to be talking about today pretty much pertains to later part of flower? Yeah, I think so. Once the trichomes show up. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about some ways to trigger your plants to increasing your trichome production let's do it man we'll talk a little stress let's talk a little <laughs> bit of stress i always heard that plant stress was a bad thing well i mean it depends how much stress right a little bit of stress for me is good you beat me half to death it's not so good right okay i've, <laughs> I've seen people beat their plants half to death it's true and what happens is there's hormones that come out that that help the plant grow and are a stress response then there's hormones it's called ethylene that come out and they're like oh just stop let me recover stop everything we don't want to get to the ethylene part we want to get to the uh the hormones that actually are going to make uh increase our quality Okay, so what are some ways that we can stress the plant that will increase? Actually, let's first of all talk about what purpose do the trichomes serve for the plant before we get into how to stress response. It's multi-purpose. The trichomes are meant to protect the plant's surface. They're meant to protect it from sunlight, from dam damaging like UV uh, insects. Some insects are attracted to it, you know, because you need pollinators. Uh, and some insects are repelled by terpenes. So, yeah, it, it's nature's complex, man. All right. But I know what we use them for. Uh, you mentioned, and this is the one that I'm the most familiar sure. with, uh, it protecting it from light. How does that work? Yeah, it, uh, it's a sunscreen. If you take a look. I wore this shirt on purpose, but you can see if you had a dense trichome forest on the leaf, it is going to reflect or absorb uh, a lot of that light. And specifically what I'm talking about is UV light, specifically UVB. Uh, UVB in the right amount is good for you. I mean, you know that that's where we get our vitamin D from. Mm -hmm. We make vitamin D through, we get the, the sunlight and we make, uh, it's actually the UVB light we get. Thankfully, there's only a little bit of it coming through. Uh, but that gives us, we're able to synthesize you know, vitamins, vitamin D out of it. So, But yeah. if we get too much, then we start to tan so that we can reflect the light sure. off. And then, the and then we, but then we burn, which is destroy. You know, it's actually destroying DNA and really, really ruining things. So we want to make sure that controlled stress, like we talked about. Yeah. So having the right amount of UVB uh, triggers that plant to make more trichomes. It got, does that sunscreen effect, and yeah, you end up getting. And don't forget, each trichome is filled with terpenes and cannabinoids. 
And I know in Migro, I've got a full-spectrum LED light. Sure. Does that have the UVB in there? No, UVB is separate. The UVB is, it, the shorter the wavelength you go, uh, the more destructive it is. Actually, they can really, uh, UVC actually, which is the next one down, that actually breaks up DNA. It'll pull electrons out and just destroy stuff. So UVB is, uh, they haven't figured out really how to put it in LEDs yet and make them last. I've trialed a couple. They don't last very long. Uh, so they have them in the tubes. So you would put some UVB, and it does uh, reflect really well. UV reflects. That's why you can go fishing and get a uh, big sunburn because it reflects off the water. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, tell you what absorbs UV great, though? Green color. And nature knew what it was doing, right? Right. So like grass, you're, you're much less. You're going to get sunburnt less if you're picnicking on grass than if you're on a boat fishing or on sand. Hey, so that being said, you use a UV light. You can get like a, a fluorescent tube. I think they have the T5 tubes, the thin fluorescent tubes. You have to be really careful with these things. You do not want to put these up and just turn them on with your lights. That's, not, that's why they're not built into lights. You want to run these things, I think it's 10 minutes at a time, maybe a couple hours a day out of a 12-hour day, 10-minute burst. What would that be? Six, 10-minute burst. Definitely go on, go on realgrowlab.com and talk about this because there are other growers that are doing it. And yeah, it's really important. I've, I've heard so many people fry their plants with UV but it's just like we said, controlled stress. I'm thinking it reminds me of working out, right? You go working out as controlled stress, right? And you ever, you, you rip your muscles a little bit, they come back stronger. You ever meet somebody that goes and works out and they overdo it? It's New Year's, January 2nd, they go there and they're pulling muscles and they can't do it for two weeks and they, they never go back. Up. Yeah, yeah. So there's all sorts of stress out there. We want the first one. And speaking of how frequently we use these, sure. let's also kind of tie it back to what we were talking about earlier. You're not going to be using UVB light in veg. No, maybe you no, not at all. You would use them in mid bloom once the flowers were to start showing up, once the trichomes were start, starting to show up. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the other tip for late flower, mid flower that yeah. we can do to trick the plant into producing more trichomes. This one, I'm not sure if it qualifies as tricking the plant into more trichomes. It counts as keeping the trichomes that the plant made. What we're talking about is dropping your temperature and humidity at the end of the grow, at the last, you know, a as you'll see, if you look at a VPD chart, temperature and humidity go down as the uh, flowering cycle gets later. And the idea is you have these dense buds and they're ripe for molds and mildews. And then you've got these trichomes and these trichomes have all these oils, these volatile oils in there, a turf and cannabinoids, you're welcome to Google it or look. They start volatizing off in the mid 70s, 70, 70, mid 70 degree Fahrenheit, 76, 78. It's not magic when you want to go into a grow and you smell, you're smelling those trichos, terpenes, and cannabinoids, the terpenes really volatizing off, being a solid and turning right into a gas. That's what volatizing means. And if you're smelling them, you're not smoking them. That means you put all that work into producing them, right. and then you're losing them right at the end. Absolutely. So if you can't cool your room down, then you're gonna those trichomes are just going to evaporate. I shouldn't say the trichomes, the terpenes. The okay, I said trick the plant into producing more sure. through colder temps. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought in nature, when it starts to get cooler, that signals to the plant, hey, you're about to die, you need to reproduce, you need to collect yep. some pollen and doesn't the trichomes help collect pollen? Yeah, the trichomes are sticky. The trichomes smell, so a, a bug might come and, uh, and hang on it for a little bit. It's got pollen on it. It gets stuck onto the trichomes, and, yeah, that's how the plants are pollinated. So that's, that's the idea of it. Yeah, so this is an annual plant, so it has a very limited time. So it's got this internal clock, and as it's getting late in flower, it knows it needs to reproduce.
reproduced. That's why we don't have put any males in, in the grow room because it just gets frustrated and it goes, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, man. We'll put some more cologne on, man. So I'm gonna <laughs> add some more trichome. Yes, I'm going to add some more. I'm going to try to attract a, a bug or you know something to come over and, uh, and pollinate me. Hey, but don't forget, we don't want that. We want to keep all those terpenes and cannabinoids inside those trichome heads. That's why it's really important to lower our temperatures and lower our humidity. And we say VPD all the time. Go look at a VPD chart. You, you'll see what we're talking about. It follows the VPD chart. Yeah, so by lowering your VPD, you're not only keeping the trichomes or keeping all those terpenes and cannabinoids inside the trichomes, you might actually stimulate a little more trichome output, a little more trichome density. So definitely win-win. Hey, but those are just my best tips for stacking on that frost, for loading up those trichomes. But what about you? What kind of tips do you got for increasing your quality? Let me know in the comments. If you dug this video, please hit the like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Come on, share this video with another grower you know. And check out the other couple of videos YouTube's recommending. We think you'll dig them.